What is up, everybody? I am live with the man, one of our favorites. I got to be real with you. My favorite for sure. Tony Burns living that dream life. For those who are listening on the audio and can't see, Tony is like out. Like, what are you sunbathing? Is that part of your new job? No, I'm, I'm out here sweating for you because I love you. I love the people. We'll do the sweaty version of the Poker News podcast. But now it's a beautiful day here in South Florida. Uh, just a few days removed from the grand opening of the brand new Hotel Guitar. It is up and running, beautiful as ever. 7.30 at night, uh, sunset, light shows. Uh, we've got we've got it all down here. Man, I was so sad to miss it. You know, I had my baby shower, so I could not come. But uh, in fact, Maria Ho was at my baby shower, and she was saying that she was wondering, like, did her invite get lost in the mail, or what happened? Whoa, I mean, why do we got a name drop? Why do we got to go that far? <laughs> you know what? Everything happens for a reason. She was supposed to be at your baby shower. Maria, we talked about this. So, no, it's, uh, we had uh, the who's who's of uh, the world were here. Morgan Freeman, Johnny Depp, Khloe Kardashian was here for the grand opening. Uh, oh my we gosh. Had- I was literally in bed with my best friend who, like, put on the shower, right? And she, I hear her on the stories. And it's Khloe Kardashian saying something about being in the guitar-shaped hotel. And I was like, dude, I know the people, okay? Like, I'm connected. I am in it. And my friend was, like, totally spazzing out. Like, get out of Johnny Depp? What? I know. It was uh, the, the Seminole Hard Rock uh, Hollywood Special Events team and the upper management. They, they pulled out all the stops. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing evening. Got to come out here poolside. Uh, walked Jeff Gross around a little bit. Uh, he was here for our celebrity cash game. Uh, we had a game on table 19 with Jeff Conine, Florida, former Florida Marlin. Uh, Jason and Natasha came out, Andy Slater, uh, Ben Irwin came all the way out from the West coast. My man, Ben, shout out to him. Uh, local rapper Puya, over a million followers on, uh, Instagram. Uh, so we had a, we had a fun, uh, we had a fun cash game table here. Uh, game turned from being one, two, no limit to, as Jason put it, one, two, five, 10, 20. And, uh, chips were flying. Everybody had a good time. Thank God I wasn't there. That's the, that's above my pay grade for sure. <laughs> for Mine sure. Uh, and actually, that's funny that Puya, I, he came to the World Series two or three years ago, and I had scheduled to do an interview with him, which didn't end up panning out, but I had done you know a solid hour or two of research watching all of his music videos and what have you. He's like a South Florida kind of icon, I guess, in the, in the hip-hop scene. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice to have him here. He, I've been watching his stories. Uh, we gave out uh, RRPO hats to uh, the first five tables that came out for the day, and uh, I've been checking his stories, and he's been uh, he's been rocking his RRPO hat uh, hard in his stories. Oh shit! So let's talk a little bit about. I do want to talk a little more about the opening, of course, and especially uh, the game itself. But let's. Um, we had to retire the Twitter handle TD Tony B, which I'm kind of sad about as i'm sure you know but don't worry guys there's still a good title which is now md tony b so for the fans out there for all the people um let's talk a little bit about your new role and why this may or may not be your last coming on the poker news podcast is this true well we don't have to retire from that i'm i'm still uh with the company as the director of poker marketing for seminal gaming so not only am, am i getting to uh Help the Hollywood property, but also Tampa and Coconut Creek. So all three poker rooms in the state of Florida. Uh, you know, the Seminole Hard Rock brand, uh, Hard Rock Poker, is just an amazing, amazing brand in itself. And uh, you know, to be able to represent that and be a part of that is is an honor. And uh, this uh, November, I'll be running the Rock and Roll Poker Open as they are still looking for my replacement. And uh, so excited to see everybody in November, which Rock and Roll is uh, about three weeks away, starting on November twentieth. Okay, so finding your replacement, I feel sorry for whoever's job it is to do that, and also for whoever has to come in and fill fill these epic shoes. And let's get serious. You kind of hope that the person is, like, good, but just not as good as you. I appreciate you saying that. You know what? Um, I know the hours and the dedication I put into the job was a lot of fun, and um, I know the person that they picked, Bill Mason, uh, is going to bring in the next tournament director here, and... I'm sure that person's gonna, you know, knock it out of the park. You know, it's um, the brand itself is strong. Uh, the room, you know, is it, you know just come in like I came into a great foundation, and I was able to put my touch on some things. And 
you know, guest service is the key. You know, talking to the players, being accessible to them, continue to listen what they want. Because, like I said, tournament poker right now, there's so much of it out there that people can pick and choose where they want to go. They can play locally now. They don't have to travel like they used to. So making sure that they come out, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm getting uh, text messages still, you know, two, three, four in the morning, depending on the time zone. You know, hey, Tony, need a room, which you can go on to shrpo.com, uh, book your hotel room rates. They are going fast. So uh, the hotel room rates, and this is a common question that's been asked, um, you know, what is that? Uh, is it give me in the guitar? Well, the ones online are for the pre-existing Hard Rock Hotel, which all those rooms have been updated. Uh, went into one the other day, absolutely beautiful. So from top to bottom, they left no stone unturned to uh, make this place look beautiful. Well, let's talk about some of the events and some of the things that you've, I mean, I know we've talked about this extensively. You've done a lot of things to sort of play with structures, to shift the tournament schedules, to include, you know, so many different bankrolls, to, you know, add in some pretty crazy, like high roller style events. The, we talked a little bit about the re-entries and toying with that. What, what are some of the things that we can still expect to be sort of, you know, to, to, that you will leave as your mark and that they will not touch for sure? Well, the opening event of the Rock and Roll Poker opens a $400 buy-in with a $1 million guarantee. A uh, few people may remember that three years ago, this uh, tournament set the record for the largest tournament in, ter in terms of entry size at 5,018 entries for that event, won by Rafael Reese of uh, Brazil. So shout out to Rafael. Uh, he, uh, he's a very uh, loyal poker, uh, similar hard rock poker fan, saw him up in Tampa. So, you know, players down here in Florida, they get that great opportunity to travel around from you know not only here but we can go to coconut creek play that world series circuit you know we got our own uh, branded events in tampa but uh, you know like i said it's all about the rock and roll getting ready to come up with that 400 dollar buy-in million dollar guarantee we're partnered with the world poker tour on this event uh on this series as well for our championship event which will be a 3500 dollars buy-in with a two million guarantee uh first starting day of two day after thanksgiving so uh friday and saturday two starting days and this event will also, for the first time, include a $25,500 buy-in high roller event. So you're trying to bring out all those big guns again. Well, I mean, if that can't do it, what can, right? <laughs> We're trying I to mean, get that Khloe Kardashian money in there. <laughs> no, it, it felt perfectly, though, you know, with, uh, you know, grand opening and, you know, three, four weeks later, less than a month later, you know, we got the, uh, you know, the tournament starting up, which will be inside the renovated Seminole Ballroom. So the previous events were inside... Um, uh, the event center and they renovated that whole space so you know it's uh players are going to be in for a true treat you know even if you were here in august uh the the property change has been uh, been awesome so let's talk about you know i would it's interesting actually because i think as we all you know as the digital age progresses, I think roles and responsibilities and jobs that were maybe more traditional are becoming more overlapping. We're all having to, I think, uh, do a lot more basically in, in all of our positions. And so, you know, going from being in the position of a tournament director into a marketing role, maybe 20 years ago might seem like it's two totally different things, but I would actually say that today it's kind of the, um, that being in the TD role, you also are essentially a marketing director in your own right. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about the transition into this next job and also sort of how the previous role may have prepared you for it. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the things they told me when, you know, this job came open is that they liked my social media presence, how I was accessible to the guests. Um, and that's, like I said, when you're the tournament director, you you know, the joke was I'm, I'm the face that runs the place. You know, the people that come to you and, you know, you got to be accessible to them. So that's a huge part of marketing. You're marketing yourself. You're marketing the brand. And, you know, it was, uh, you know, even though I've been removed for about a month, you know, a lot of those same things I've taken over, you know, like I said, they're still looking for uh, to replace my position. So I'm still doing some of those things. I'm um, getting to know the marketing uh, teams at the other properties at Tampa and Coconut Creek. Um, that's been a lot of fun um, as well. So everything has just kind of fell right into place. I feel right at home. I love, uh, I love, I don't regret the decision one bit. Um, you know, it's also allowed me to be with my family a little bit more as well, uh, which is always a plus. You know, the girls are growing up fast, and uh, I know you're right around the corner from, uh, from, from giving birth and excited for you. So, you know, those, those uh, the, the things in life that, uh, you know, are important you know, with, with family first, are very family first oriented here. And, 
uh, like I said, I'm very happy that I took this position. So how much will you still have your hands in what's happening in the poker room itself? Well, I'll, I'll continue to help support the poker rooms, you know, like Bill Mason. I mean, Bill's an amazing director of poker here, and he's very in tune with the market. He loves poker. Um, him and I had a great working relationship for the four years, and I I'm looking forward to continuing working with him. I'm here to help support him. Um, that goes for Pablo Perez up in Tampa and Kelly Mountner in Coconut Creek. We all have a really great working relationship. We, we bounce things off of one another. Everybody's very in tune to their markets, and I think that's what's made Seminole Hard Rock and Hard Rock Poker, um, you know, one of the up-and-coming brands in poker that's made people continue to come out year after year after year. And like I said, I'm glad to be kind of in the in the beginning phases of something that I think is going to be around for a long, long time. Well, you also... I mean, even for example, with this guitar hotel opening, which was, a, I think, an extremely probably crazy time to come into a role and position like you were put into, um, but you managed to integrate essentially a celebrity poker game into that, you know, marketing push also. So do you, is, is using poker going to be a big way that you're going to help to push and, and market all of these places as a whole? Well, my job is still poker uh, centric, you know. Um, but yeah, like having the relationship with Jeff Conine, you know, it goes back to my Florida Marlins days as a 14 year old bat boy. And it's funny how life can come around full circle. I mean, Jeff joked around. He goes, "Man, you make me feel old." He goes, "My bat boy has kids." <laughs> but you know, having him here, um, everybody had a great time. I mean, you know, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I can't say more about Jeff other than he's a philanthropist uh, with his uh, Conine Clubhouse. We've had his charity event here for three years. Um, Jason and Natasha, you know, being here in South Florida, it just all worked out. I believe Jeff Gross just came down here to South Florida as well. You know, people are migrating down to the South, and we've got some great poker names that, you know, calendar-wise, it all worked out for everybody to come together. Like Puya, the next day went on tour, and I just wow. felt like it was a perfect, yeah, it was a perfect storm of getting everybody together. Um, it was a great time. We, I think, they played for almost three hours. It was played it for two, but they had such a good time they stayed and played an extra hour because they were enjoying each other's company so much. That was one of the things that I was curious about. I'm like, you're kind of getting this motley crew together and how are they going to blend together? How are they going to interact with one another? And that's a great thing about poker. We've talked about, you know, from the ages of 18 to 99 can sit around, uh, around a table from all different, all, all different backgrounds. And that's what's make, that's what makes poker great. And, um, you know, it was an idea that I had Jeff, uh, his old number with the Marlins was 19 so I was like, all right, well, it's only fitting. Let's have the first hand on table 19 uh, with Jeff Conine. So. I love it. I absolutely love it. And and you're right. It's it's so cool to see so many different people from not only different walks of life, but different poker skill levels, I'm sure. Um, so did Jason and Natasha walk away with all the money? <laughs> all I know is I saw Jason raking Natasha's chips. I mean, granted the fact going to the same household, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and I don't know how that all works out, but. I know he stacked her a couple times, and uh, I think Jason was the, uh, the the bigger winner out of the game. But uh, like I said, in the end, everybody had a great time. And, uh, you know, the focus now, like I said, turns to rock and roll. It's going to be an amazing series. I think that the first with the guitar, I mean, a $1.5 billion property-wide expansion, I mean, that, that markets itself, right? I mean, it's, you can take pictures behind it, you can videos behind it, but it markets itself. It's such an amazing structure. Like even if I tell people, even if you're not into gaming or casinos, as a destination resort, this place. I mean, I'm looking around. There's a beach right here. There's people out on jet skis. The lagoon is so big. There's people wakeboarding. Um, they're having a great time all over the place. And it's like I said, it's just uh, coming out after the first weekend, and it's just a great place to come and, and make a poker vacation out of. Well, I don't know if this is like a secret maybe, or if this is something untalked about, unspoken of, but you know, I was in Daytona two weeks ago um, at the Daytona Beach Racing and Card Club, and also I went to Orange City, and they were saying that basically the uh, Seminoles, and not just basically, but this is like some sort of law, essentially, that the Seminoles are the only ones who can have table games in the casinos. I had no idea. So basically, if you want to play like slots and table games in florida you have to go to the hard rock right am i right well i don't want to get too yeah, well i don't want to get too grave into that but the seminoles do have a compact and uh i'll i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that yeah but i mean it's that's like a great marketing point right <laughs> like 
if you like to play table games, this is where you've got them, and we've got a lot of them. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, I mean, the over three the over three thousand slot machines. Now, uh, you know, it's uh, this is this is the place to come. You know, and, and no matter what you love to do, if you love to play tables, you love to play slots, poker, all the restaurants. I mean, obviously with the pool, uh, the new Hard Rock Live uh, opened up. Uh, we have to have our team member rally inside there. And the night after grand opening, uh, Adam Levine, Maroon 5 here, packed the house. I uh, even saw a clip uh, Jason and Natasha went there. Uh, you got, I think if you listen to it, you get to check their uh, singing skills. Oh, my gosh. I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be really good at everything. Thank, thank the good Lord. Hey, you know, hey, Jason, I'll give Jason some credit, man. He's got some, he's got some good pipes. He's got better ones than me. And, and uh, I think I sound great, you know, especially singing in the shower, yeah, oh, me too. I'm sure my husband would disagree, but uh, so actually, and that's something I was a little curious about too. What are some of the new things that are in the Guitar Tower that say people should come to, you know, the Rock and Roll Tournament? They want to check out the new tower. Is it like fancy restaurants that people are going to be obsessed with? New like venues for musicians, whatever. What what all are the extras? So when you come in through the door, there's a brand new um, Portica Share, absolutely gorgeous. People will call it, it's like kind of like a spaceship. Um, it's, it's very futuristic. So you walk, you walk into the door and there's this Oculus. Um, and the Oculus is this uh, computer controlled light, uh, water and light show. And it's absolutely amazing. You come to the right and you have the brand new uh, check-in area, very modern uh, with the Oculus bar. Come around the corner, uh, come and see the new uh, Council Oak, which overlooks the pool. Um, there's a gelato, there's like a sweet shop, the new Constant Grind come down to the new 24-hour diner um, this, that's kind of on that wing and then if you come to the left of the oculus you go back into the main like towards the pre-existing uh, gaming area and the new expanded gaming area um, and then straight ahead on the other side of the oculus is where the poker room is and that's where all the shops is they put a, a bunch of high-end retail um, and the new hard rock store is in there and that's also where the nightclub dire will be um, they're supposed to be open that up i believe the night before or on halloween there's gonna be a day and night club and so from, I heard some, uh, I, don't, I don't really follow the DJs out there, but I believe the name is Testo. Maybe, maybe I uh, said that right. Yeah, I, know, I might have my... heard of him, maybe. But, yeah. Um, so a lot of, you know, new DJs that are going to be coming down here, just making this, you know, South Florida the, the spot to be in, in terms of nightlife. Okay. Gaming area. You know, they opened up some of those areas, like the new Hard Rock Cafe has been open for, for about a year now. Um and uh, also in that area, I, I left out Suppresso. They got a new Italian restaurant. Um, Kuro's still there, which everybody still loves Kuro and the tacos. Shout out to Chris Moneymaker. You know you love them tacos. Uh, but uh, it's, um, it, it's, it's the place to be. And we're, we're looking forward to having Chris down here. We're going to have a Moneymaker tour event, the Road to PSPC, uh, December 11th through the 15th as well, after rock and roll. Going to be giving away a platinum pass to Barcelona. Sick. So like every month we can just expect more awesome, fun stuff to come out. And I have to say, I was going to say from a real estate perspective for a poker room, I remember the Hard Rock in Vegas, there was whatever, I can't remember, rehab, right? was like such a big deal when I very first got there. And the poker room was like right as you would walk into the casino from rehab. And it was so yeah. sick. You could go there on like a Sunday and just like the drunkest, craziest idiots would come in and just like go all in blind all the time. And I was like, man, for a poker room, if you can get real estate by the nightclub or the day club, like that's where you want to be. That's where you can just like go and have the, a good old time. And the poker room is right there. So yeah, sick. you hit it right on the head. The poker room's right there by the nightlife. So the games on the weekends, I'm sure, are really, really good, exciting, kind of like what they had at Seminole Paradise back in the days. So it's, um, it's somebody said it today, it's really undescribable. They have no words for how amazing this is other than telling people, come down, experience it for yourself, um, and uh, look forward to having everybody down here in November. I can't wait. I can't wait. I got to have my boy TD Tony B slash MD Tony B on speed dial so I can pull up their like Khloe Kardashian style. Uh, maybe after the <laughs> hype dies down a little bit, but I'm Correct. so excited yeah, I mean, <laughs> to check it all out. And let's tell me, we'll tell the, the people out there one more time um, about what's happening in November, just so in case they missed it. Absolutely. All right. So uh, November 20th, uh, the start of the Rock and Roll Poker Open, uh, $1 million guarantee, $400 buy-in opening event, $3,500 buy-in championship event, partner with the World Poker Tour, 
25K uh, high roller with a million dollar guarantee. Total of 27 events uh, in total, trophied events, uh, over 40 uh, satellites and secondary events. Uh, come see the brand new poke room, 45 tables of cash game action. Uh, all day uh, Sunday, they were packed from, I think, 1 in the afternoon until 9 o'clock at night. All 45 tables were going. They were giving out over $20,000 in high hands from noon to midnight. So it's just been, uh, you know, the promos are escalated. Uh, you know, I, like I said, guys, you got to get down here, check out what's going on. SHRPO.com for the entire schedule, book your hotel room rates, uh, payout charts, structure sheets. Uh, you can book rooms inside the guitar. There is a link there where if you want to stay in the guitar, there are rooms available. Rates a little bit more than the poker rate, but uh, you can still stay in the guitar if you wanted to. Man, I mean, I got to be real with you, too. It's so nice when you go to a poker tournament and they're actually having a solid amount of cash games available because, you know, so many times you bust a tournament, you're in the groove, you're, you are you want to keep playing, but you don't necessarily want to just keep firing 50 tournaments in a row or, you know, buying in late. Being able to kind of balance the, the cash game action with a big tournament, I think, is like the perfect balance and what every poker player's dream really is get that cash game going so you can buy into more tournaments correct and next time i think i'm gonna have this interview inside the new poker room because you know we came out we didn't really plan the timing it's like 1 30 in south florida so uh yeah you know i came out here sweated off everybody I, I they had to see this in the daytime um but like i said it's all worth it it's what we do and we love the brand we, we sacrifice for everybody, right? Taking one for the team. That's my boy. We'll go inside, get Got some it. AC, let him know that, let him know in the marketing department if you're a little spicy, uh, you, you did it for the, you did it for the homies. And Correct. I just... I might hit the gelato on the way in. I, I should probably give it the skip, but... Uh, no, don't ever give it the skip. No, sir. And I just adore you it, and give your beautiful babies and your wife a big wet kiss from, from Auntie Chardonnay and... I sincerely hope that this is not the last Poker News podcast with MD Tony B. No, I don't think it will be. And uh, good luck to you and uh, Heath on uh, on the on uh, the birth of your first. Adios, amigo. Boom.